In this video lecture, I'm going to explain uh, changes of state and I'm going to use kinetic particle theory model uh, to explain the changes of state and the first thing that I'm going to explain is melting. Now melting is a change where a solid uh, changes into a liquid. Now remember particles in a solid are tightly packed, uh, they are held together by strong forces of attraction. In liquids the particles gain energy and they are able to move and slide past each other. So, so I have this diagram in front of me and uh, if you look at this diagram this is how particles would be arranged in solid state they would be held tightly together by strong forces of attraction and the, and the only thing that particles would be able to do is they would be able to vibrate about their fixed position so they can't move much they're stuck in position they can't uh, overcome the strong force of attraction and this is liquid state in liquid state the particles can slide past each other they can move around they can't move around freely they can't move around in all direction this particle cannot jump and move anywhere it wants it can only they can only slide past each other so particles in a liquid are sliding past each other so what happens when a solid changes into a liquid so what happens is that particles in a solid they would start to gain energy and as they start to gain energy they start to vibrate more and more vigorously so these particles over here they would start vibrating more and more vigorously and as they gain energy when the melting point is reached remember melting only occurs at a certain temperature at a very fixed temperature so when the melting point is reached the sort the solid particles would have gained enough energy to overcome the strong intermolecular forces and are able to slip and slide past each other so this is how melting occurs that this solid particle starts to vibrate it gains energy and once it gains enough energy it would be able to slip and slide past the other particles so this is how the process of melting would be described using kinetic particle theory